Hello everyone. Today, um, actually, this is a main um, video for more of people who have done candle magic with me, my candle magic workshop. Because many of been have been asking me, you know, um, how, why is it that the flame is high? Why is it that the flame is low? What happens if the flame is, uh, you know, not very, um, uh, very bright? What if the flame is low? So I actually, when I started candle magic WhatsApp workshop a couple of years back. I uh, used to just believe in one thing that you know we need to just burn set the intention and burn and then things start working in place yes there have been a lot of ups and downs people say you know you should burn from the wick to the base some say from the base to the wick some say take the candle from the middle go up and from the middle come down so everyone has its own uh, mythologies or you know way of uh, saying things uh, so I have been uh, you know uh, trying to do some research uh, not only through the internet uh, with my teachers interacting with my guru and also trying to burn some candles and try to see what it actually uh, means when you do this so uh, here it goes if uh, you feel that you know um, the flame is not very bright or you know uh, it's not the way it's supposed to burn it becomes very feeble so it means that you know you need to continue doing this prayers because the right time is still not come for your prayer to become successful so that is that is one way of uh, uh, taking this one second sorry there was a call uh, so now um, okay so as I said if it is very feeble and all so that's the meaning now um, I don't prefer using um, glass candles like you know uh, glass um, the the proper okay like this if you have a glass and there's a glass there's a candle inside it I don't prefer using it because what happens is they say if there's a lot of smoke left in the corners of the glass then it's not a good sign it means a lot of negativity now some people come and ask me there is a shape come in the glass uh, or in the in the melted wax what does that shape mean and you know why has it come so i would tell one thing um uh, if uh, for example now if you take my candles my candles have herbs inside and my candles have uh, you know uh, you'll find you'll find the powdered herbs and also the whole herbs in between say for instance the herbs has fallen first and then on top of it is the wax now how do i know you might immediately ask me how will i know so when the residue is left over when you scrap it and take it out you will find the herbs underneath and the wax on top you will not see the herbs on top you will see wax underneath oh uh, sorry the herbs and so if that is there then it means that the uh, that the magic is going to start working uh, more sooner than expected uh, now if there is shapes then uh, shapes actually means that you know uh, there is a presence of angel or a god and it is trying to show you that you know we are working for your uh, prayer just have some patience and uh, some people come and ask me that you know candle burns off very fast there are two ways of taking this if there's a lot of residue left and the candle is burning very fast it means that you'll have to burn again and there's a lot of negative energies around you because the absorption is happening but uh, the candle is burning very fast and there's a lot less of residue left like you know it's it's just burning fast fast it means that the magic will happen sooner than the expected time sometimes what happens is when you try to match a uh, light a candle with a matchstick it it you know first time it doesn't burn second time it doesn't burn it means that the uh, there is a external influence which is happening so that means there's a lot of energies around it which is stopping the candle from uh, working uh, towards it some people come and say halfway the candle got burnt off like you know half candle burnt half got snuffed off but we didn't uh, um, we didn't snuff it so should we re reburn it no never reburn a candle which has gone halfway throw off the candle just leave it off and then start the magic again start the prayers again and um, it also means that whatever you have prayed for it is not going to happen so you will you will have to rethink it or rewrite it in a very different way and then do this prayer for example if i'm saying i am earning one lakh a month and the candle is got off halfway so it means that the candle is not ready to or will not in get you one lakh so maybe you can bring it down to 95,000 or 90,000 then try the prayer again sometimes what happens is people say pinky g four hours candle is still burning for eight hours it's not getting off i sat the whole night for uh, this prayer to get off in that case it means the magic is going to happen but it might take a little time to happen so it will say for instance uh, you are expecting something to happen next month so now it means that it will not happen next month but it will definitely happen so it will take a little longer time than the time which is uh, uh, precrewed for it to happen i just made it down some no from points so that you know i can keep telling you people from time to time 
now um you have burnt uh, two candles in front of you okay now you uh, say for instance i am i have given you some candle spell kit of mine or some candle prayer where i have asked you to burn three candles in a row or two candles in a row then what does it it says that uh, the one which has the highest flame has got more magical power and the one which has the lowest flame will work but it works slowly so you'll have to see for example i have a kit where it uh, it is about you know um, getting success so now in one candle i say card the name in one candle i say abundance in one candle i say something else now if the abundance candle's flame is higher so it means abundance is coming very fast but if the name candle is burning slowly okay it's very feeble or so that means that the abundance is definitely coming to you but it'll take little time okay now the third candle is again higher so whatever the third candle it means then it means that candle is also going to happen or whatever is end carved in that candle that is going to happen and um, if uh, okay in the three candles one candle gets snuffed off say the say my name ka candle has got off so it means abundance and uh, happiness is on the way but now it's not the right time so it means you will have to do the spell again but i would suggest the candle which is snuffed off leave it off the other two candles let it burn completely and then throw all the three candles and then start your prayers again from the from the beginning that actually that's the right way of you know uh, doing it when it comes to candle prayers now sometimes people say you know uh, there's a lot of his uh, sizzling voice in the candle there's a lot of you know uh, suddenly there's a pop sound there's a sizzling sound it means that you know there's a lot of uh, the divination around you the gods the angels are trying to communicate with you now you might ask how do i know what are they trying to communicate just meditate just ask your angels to guide you and i'm sure they will give you some guidance or the other um, definitely what else is left um okay uh, now i said in the in the glass the glass bottle the smoke around is not a good sign some people might ask now what if the candle is burning but a lot of smoke is getting uh, you know emitted it means that the black the negativity is going away from you so it means that you know the negativity is whatever negativity is there in you or around your environment or in your house or for the project or for whatever ritual you are burning that candle it means that the smoke is like a emission or the emitting out of the negative uh, negative energies and uh, sometimes if you see uh the the candle will glow will go down it will glow suddenly it will go down if you know if you notice properly it it actually happens it so uh, when that happens it means that you know uh, the energy flow for the prayer what you have done is not flowing correctly but ultimately it will happen though it might take uh, some time so now i think i have uh, i have almost answered lot of queries in this in case there's something which is left out then you let me know i will see how best i can you know help you in this because uh, these are small small researches which i did off late and then i realized that these things happen but let me tell you one thing i have been teaching candle prayers for 3 years now and lot of students of mine have been benefited i tell everyone one thing anything done with intention and faith will definitely bring its in results as far as you don't go against the nature or you don't do something which is harming others nothing is going to go wrong and things are going to go the way you have planned it to be so i hope you all enjoy this uh, video of mine and uh, do let me know how you felt and uh, leave the feedbacks so that i will bring in more new new things like this so that everyone will enjoy uh, and learn or seek more knowledge from my videos good luck happy learning